Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Klonoa 2, Lunatia's Vale. In the last episode, we had quite a difficult time blowing up the Ark, but we got it done nonetheless. And in this episode, it seems like things are only going to get more difficult from here on out. Our next destination is the Kingdom of Sorrow. The Kingdom of Sorrow, the final kingdom brought about by the corruption in Leorina's heart. This certainly wouldn't bode well for the rest of the world if a kingdom like this spread, so whether we are going to end up destroying it entirely or if we have the ability to change it. One thing's for certain, we have to do something. So let's see what we could do. We got a double floaty thing right here, okay. Making it a little more tricky to aim, I see. Just gonna wait for it, and okay. Good stuff. What is that fireplace connect? A fireplace staircase? That would be like the warmest staircase. I wonder if that'd be difficult to like, uh, walk up and whatnot. Probably, hopefully I uh, don't have to actually do that at any point. That probably wouldn't be pleasant. Oh geez, also wouldn't be pleasant if we fell. Make sure we aim properly. And there you go. We head in here. Get a checkpoint. And let's see if we could get all the uh, sorrowful doll pieces. It's kind of impressive that they wound up appearing in a land that was already, uh, that wasn't even invented yet. Then again, they could have been hiding elsewhere before we found them. How do I do this? All right. Let me try poopy. Not trying poopy. I'm going to opt to just try and find another enemy and then come back with it. Surely there'll be one nearby. Surely. Uh, not sure if this is much better. Okay, what? Hold on. How about this? Yeah. Wait a bit. No, because then that just leads us there. So, oi. We really need to use this one? Where'd he go? Thank you. Okay. Oh, wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. We'll just wait here. Grab him on the way down. Down? Okay, I got the right idea, finally. Uh, ramping up the difficulty as much as possible right at the end, it seems. Oy. Okay, we got it. Okay, goodbye. I thought that entire area that we already traversed was the Fifth Kingdom, but that wasn't even the case. We were just like, that was the land around again corrupted just from the kingdom spawning in. So that's a pretty good idea as to how how much worse this is going to get if we don't do something about it. Okay. Now how do you want me to do this? Oh, this is gross. Also, blue flame? Hello? How do you want me to... Oh, it just goes through. Cool. Then... Yeah, that's not going to work. Gotta be very precise, I guess. Okay, I was almost there. Let's try it again. Poopy. Let's try this. Let's try this. Two. 
three. Perfect. Nothing we can't handle. Let's go ahead and hit this right now. And we'll make our merry way. Maybe we can make it a merry way by talking about a merry discussion topic. Like this guy just standing here menacingly. Whoa. No. Uh, so, whoa, hello. Goodbye. Guess we uh, are on the run now. I was trying my best to watch through all the MCU films and the TV shows as well, I guess. Um, because I had a, weir a really weird history where I just watched like a mishmash of them all out of order. Because growing up, I wasn't super into superheroes. I wasn't like against them or anything. It's just like it was never something I was super invested in. And um, my favorite superheroes growing up were Spider-Man and the Hulk, purely for aesthetic reasons. Like, I just thought Spider-Man looked the coolest, and Hulk, I've come to the realization that I just have a fixation towards big green men. And Hulk is one of them. He's like the OG big green man. So, um, I didn't get into the MCU for the longest time because, like, I assume I was too young to watch the Hulk movie in theaters, so it wasn't really my choice as to whether or not I got to see it. And then with the Spider-Man, he just didn't show up for the longest time, and I was just so confused as to why I didn't know about the legal reasons surrounding it. And then when they finally did bring Spider-Man into the MCU, I was just like, I don't like the Spidey suit. It just it didn't really uh, jive with me, so I just didn't end up seeing that movie that he appeared in for the longest time. But I eventually got around to it, and now I'm all caught up. The only thing I haven't seen yet is Black Panther Wakanda Forever. I'm uh, just waiting to see if, like... I don't know, like, I want to have that theater experience with, like, I want to hear everyone's reactions in the crowd and everything, because that's such an important movie to a lot of people, and I want to be able to hear everyone's reactions to it, and consider just, like, everything that's been leading up to it. I feel like it's just a very, it would be a very special experience to watch with a big group of people. But at the same time, I don't like going to theaters with a big group of people, so, uh, it's just, uh, you have to... Uh, try and discover, not discover, but try and uh, come to terms with what decision would be the best decision to make in that situation. So hopefully I can just see it soon, though. And then, conversely, I'm looking forward to seeing Avatar 2 tomorrow. Like, it's so weird. I'm hearing people talk about, like, everyone's just coming out of the woodworks to say, like, um, actually, Avatar was never good. It's always a bad movie. I feel like a lot of that is just coming from people who are uppity towards James Cameron because he like he was getting all uppity towards MCU films, being like they're not all that good actually. They aren't as good as my movie, which is the best selling movie ever made. Do, 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 do. And I get it. Like if you, I'm not jazzed about the fact that he said that either. But like I feel like a lot of the hate towards Avatar right now is uh, derived from people just simply uh, not liking that he insulted their Marvel movies. So I don't know. Can we just like both? I'm looking forward to seeing both, so hopefully we just have a good time when that comes out. But now we make our way over here. And we can't throw this, unfortunately. We aren't being given a lot of ammunition to deal with these guys, it seems. So we just sort of have to let them roam around the place, it seems. It looks like they finally found our weak spot. They aren't as long as we don't have any uh, dudes to mess around with, then we can't actually do anything. Uh, there we go. There's one. There's two poop. <laughs> There's not poop. Okay, I see what they wanted us to do, but I completely messed it up. And I messed it up again. Cool. Just grab those and hit that. Got some gems anyway. And the door. So now we're- Oh, jeez! I don't think we've seen one that big before. Okay, we're just gonna have to duck around. Or just power through it, because I was impatient. And it's fine, we got a checkpoint. We do not have a second doll piece, though, and it's kind of freaking me out. We haven't seen one in a while. Now it's all quiet and ominous and spooky. Uh, don't hit me, please. Don't hit me, please. Don't? Okay, fine. There's the second one. Cool. Now what? Hello? Friends? Do I keep going up, I guess? Just power through it. Okay, I didn't actually need to power through it. It's fine. There we go. Cool. Let me walk through here. Oh, geez. This place is already filled with a bunch of monsters. Oh, boy. They've already made it, like, I guess they're the main inhabitants of this place. So that's not great. Uh, I assume this breaks. Yep. Everything's got to break. 
I like this guy. <laughs> he looks funny. Uh, let's throw this. We got a third one. It's just a heart. It's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, no. How lovely. Just convenient little updrafts for us. Even in this desolate wasteland, the wind is always convenient. It's always blowing by our side. And there's our third one, hopefully. If I could get it, that would be nice. There we go. Okay, we're halfway there. Hopefully we don't have to redo any more levels. I'm kind of impressed with myself with how I've been very diligent with getting all of them, even though we had to redo some levels here and there. I've been doing a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. I was expecting to die right then and there. Thankfully that didn't happen. Because that always seems to be what happens in those moments. You just ask for it, it seems. Let's go over this away. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, good. At least we got it. Looks like that attack from Kirby 64 where, like, Kirby throws his spine out whenever using, like, the cutter ability. And, like, it's so weird. Kirby 64 and Klonoa have very similar uh, setups to them with the 2D and semi-3D uh, gameplay and world level, level layouts. And also very slow controls. But... I know this is like a super hot take, but I was never a fan of Kirby 64. It's just, it moves way too slow for my liking. And I feel like a lot of attacks I get hit by are just ones that I'm just too slow to dodge. And I don't like the concept that like, uh, you just sort of have to get lucky with the correct combination of powers in order to uh, find the crystal shards and all that stuff. And there's no progressive, there no, there's no multiple multitude of rewards that you get for collecting any amount of them. It's just that you collect all of them, you get the true ending. You collect 99% of them, you get the bad ending. So it's just kind of unfortunate. Kind of wish it wasn't like that, but I know a lot of other people like that game. And it's weird, like, why is Klonoa different for me? I guess, like, the enemy layouts are a lot different. It's not, I don't feel like I'm constantly being bombarded by stuff. And... Uh, I don't know, it's just a cool new, uh, I like the setting of this a lot more than Kirby 64, even though I like the characters and whatnot. It's just, it's a game I definitely like to watch people play rather than play myself. Okay, so now we made our way over here. There's another crystal, so, uh, go ahead and start collecting some of that stuff. Hmm. Interesting. I'm confused as to what they want me to do here. Wasn't that? How would we get over there with that? Huh? It's hit you, I guess. Because I can't hit you with that. Hmm. Maybe I just need to be super quick. Let me try this. Let's try. Throwing you. Throwing you. Okay. That got me up here. Okay, yeah. Let me grab that. Okay, cool. And we're good. Love that they come up with all new ways to just, like, use the same puzzle over and over, but it's always a new setup, always a new uh, layout of enemies. And it just always makes it fresh. It's very, very cool. I did it again! Okay. It'd be even worse if I just continue to acknowledge it. So, if it happens, it happens. Just be fine with it. Just be okay with the stuff that makes you, you, who should always be in a can, but sometimes they put them in boxes and it's very annoying because the cans are a lot cooler and I don't want to be seen sipping you who out of a can or out of a little you who box because it looks lame and they're kind of dinky and I don't want the little sippy, I want the chug of the can. But no, instead I have to uh, deal with the sippy of the straw that sometimes breaks. Either the straw itself breaks or breaks through the little cardboard box. Just make me more yoo cans, please and thank you! My tangent is over. Hooray, I don't have to let go this time! So now it's just smooth sailing. Unless it isn't smooth sailing, unless I really want those gems. Do I want them? Not I. I don't care about simple little gems. Oh geez. Maybe it'd be like an even more challenging speedrun category, like the no gem percentage. It's like the Luigi's Mansion achievement of like getting little to no money so you could get the tent ending. Which is very fun to do. I actually finally, finally 
got all the achievements in Luigi's Mansion 3DS uh, this October. I was working towards it, and this is probably going to sound crazy for someone like me to say this because I love Luigi's Mansion more than life itself, but I only just discovered that when a ghost is uh, pulling you away from it and the ghost has like more control over itself than you do when like sucking up with a poltergeist, and instead of just like continually flicking the control stick back to suck out its health, you could just hold it down and that will make Luigi reel it in more and he'll have more power over it and that's how you get the gold and the platinum rings in the gallery ghosts. I never knew that, but now I do and I'm all the more powerful for it. So everyone who thought they couldn't beat me at Luigi's Mansion before, you ain't seen nothing yet. Mwahaha. It's sort of like how in Smash Ultimate, Joker is using Arsene, and that's technically his weakest persona. So just know that every time I kick your butt, yes, me specifically, every time I kick your butt in Smash Bros. as Joker, I'm using the absolute smallest amount of my power to do so. It's very fun and very menacing. Okay, so now that we go over here... Hit this at the right time. Not gonna make the mistake of. I was gonna say I'm not gonna make the mistake of trying to throw it through the window because that would probably be the incorrect solution and probably won't even fit. But of course, it just gets destroyed anyway. And where's the dude? I guess we gotta go get another dude. Okay. Hopefully, we don't run out of dudes. That'd be not great. I'm sure one of these guys has gotta respawn. I guess the one on the left is the one that they intended us to use, but what ifs? Okay, good. Knew that was happening, or knew that was gonna be another dull piece. Just looked like the pro, the proper, the appropriate uh, location for it. Now what do we got? We got a bunch of enemies. Okay. Now we gotta use this guy to get over to this guy. And there you go, perfect. First try. Uh, I don't see a hole, except for that one. <laughs> Guess we're going here. We got the nice wind. And another checkpoint. We already got five of them? Jeez, we're going through here really quickly. Which means which means I'm gonna miss the last one, probably. Uh is a golden one? I don't think I've seen the golden one, have we? Uh I guess we're just going up with it. Does it have more of a life to it? It seemed pretty much the same. Hmm. Got another checkpoint, got two extra lives, jeez, the game has such confidence in us. I do appreciate it, it seems like they do take care of you if you are playing on normal difficulty, because they know the game is harder, but they just make sure you have more lives. Which is nice. So now we just gotta dodge that. Like the spiral stuff. Is this a Banjo-Kazooie reference? Or maybe it's just like a DNA reference, is this a ladder or a staircase? Or maybe it's just art, and it's completely falling flat on my feeble mind. Uh, there we go. Bunch of evil Dreamcast logos protecting the artwork, the masterpiece. And this should let me go right through, unless it does that. Okay, thank you. And we're fine. We're groovy. So now we hit this. Oh, that's a big one. Was hoping that would work. It didn't. Hooray! I did this correctly that time. Then I messed it up over there. Uh, sure. I guess I'm stuck down here. That's what I was supposed to do. Gotta get something wrong, I guess. It just gives you more opportunities to get something right. Uh, phooey. Okay, at least I know where the final one is. So now it's all good, except when it isn't poopy. <laughs> oh, there's a checkpoint right here. Lovely! It's like they knew I would fail. Oh, just power through it! Thank you! That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And we're good! We got all the doll pieces, and we got to the end, possibly? Not quite. We got another checkpoint. And a bench! I wish I could sit in the bench. This place does remind me of Eco a little bit, even though the lighting is very different. Hello. Falling to my death reminds me of Eco as well. <laughs> Let's jump up here. She's just gotta follow this around. This is a fun little thing to Mahoozie. As long as we get the cool camera angle. 
It's like the ultimate cool camera angle. We just get to have it continuously. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, uh, don't wait for that one. We switch over to the next one. Okay. Hopefully I don't need that specific enemy for anything. Maybe it was just for the heart. We'll never know. At least it's not for the dull pieces. Jump over here. And we just keep jumping. It sounds like he's saying like Lupin. Like Lupin! He's a very big fan of Lupin the Third, apparently. Okay. It looks like we made it to the end. destination lies just ahead of us. With the Kingdom of Sorrow traversed, we have finally made it to the Forgotten Path. Kind of weird for it to be a Forgotten Path if it just came into existence. Let's go ahead and give people a reason to remember this place. By saving the world. Next time on Klonoa 2, Lunatia's Veil, vale, we'll hopefully come face to face with the King of Sorrow. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.